Look at that phone. Look at that phone. This right here. This was me in high school. Bam. <laughs> Ew. You got me. Okay, go please. <laughs> that moment you take a look in the camera and you're like, I mean, I want to keep it real with you guys, but like, how real are we keeping it? <laughs> Hi guys, what is up? Welcome back to the channel. Today, my kitchen's a disaster. That's a disaster. And I have laundry to do. I'm not doing any of it yet because you know what it's like when you get this, you get the urge to do something, to organize, to just straighten things up, tidy things up, just attack the little projects that you've been avoiding or just me that I've been avoiding literally for months and months now, probably since I've moved into this house. All of these other things, these little tasks, laundry, straightening up the living room and doing the dishes, I will accomplish for sure. It'll take me 20 minutes to do that. But right now I am feeling motivated to organize underneath my cabinet where all my Tupperware is. We've done that together a couple of times. I'm also feeling really, really motivated to clean. This is my dining room. Take a look at this ridiculous shelf. Can we just acknowledge how ridiculous this shelf is? It's turned into where I just stick everything and hope for the best. And then the last one that I wanna organize is also this microwave cart that I have at the end of my counters. It holds vitamins, all these random things, some appliances. If I can condense this and get rid of it and throw it out there, then that's what I'm gonna do. I also, oh my God, they're loud drinkers. I'm also gonna be scrubbing my front entry walls. So uh, we just had it all painted. You probably not be able to see it, but let's see. Yeah, you see all that? That's Charlie, yeah. You don't notice it, you know, in my videos because I'm not here showing you all the nastiness. But yeah, that's Charlie. Every time he walks in, he shakes, he drools. There's mud everywhere, right? It's your brother. Your brother's so gross. Why is he so nasty? Why is he so nasty? I love this face. I don't know this face so much. <laughs> anyway, that's what today's video is. So I'm not gonna take you guys through the actual process of me doing all of this organization. I am gonna show you what it looked like before and then I'm gonna show you what it looked like after. And hopefully you're gonna be like, damn, I need to go do my cupboards. Damn, I need to organize my shelf. Damn, I need to scrub my walls. So let's see how that goes. So first, because it's the biggest one, <laughs> is I'm gonna start my dining. All right, so let's just take a little more in-depth look. So I have a blender here. Never use it, I know. I have a little teeny tiny crock pot that I don't use on a regular basis. I've got this popcorn maker thing that we bought. Look at the dust on it. I don't use that. Like, I just, we don't use it. Instant Pot I do use. Dog treats we use. I have backups of some things that I bought. This is where all of our ramen gets stocked. These are lids and stuff. My Instant Pot pressure cooker lid. My Ninja Foodie lid um, down here. We've got more baggies that I bought, backups. I've got garbage bags. Oh, I do have some baskets here. I was looking for those yesterday. See, see, uh, my Dutch oven. I've got backup food, just kind of stashed down here. I've got, you know, like weird tray. I've got this water thing. I've got my electric knife back there, which you keep in the box, right? And we got treats here. Yes, we do. He knows what goes here. Can you back up, please? Oh God, I love the face. Can you back up? Charlie, back up, 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 back up. Get, ew, ew, you got me. Okay, go please. Back up, Charlie. Oh, you're a big guy. All right, and yeah, garbage bags. I've got more baking pans down there. I've got just serving trays. Like it's just such random stuff. And I need to figure out what I wanna have easier access to and what can go downstairs and maybe I can reorganize under my cabinets. So that's kind of what this whole thing is gonna happen today. So the first thing I am gonna do is pull everything off the shelf. I know that it's all very visible to me, but I wanna pull it off, lay it all out on my dining room table, organize it by section by what it is, if it's food, if it's serving ware, if it's for cooking, so I'm gonna empty everything. Again, I'm not taking you through the entire process, but let's go ahead and empty my shelf.
shelves cleaned off. Well, the first two shelves cleaned off, but I don't have any more room on my dining room table. The next time you guys see the shelf, it will be beautiful, organized. It's gonna be as good as it's gonna get. <laughs> ridiculous to other people but like I said I wanted to make this functional for us the fact that I have an entire shelf dedicated to just ramen tells me that we have a problem <laughs> but I wanted to put it in my pantry but I mean I don't have I would have to have a whole shelf in my pantry for it and you guys saw my pantry makeover I just don't have that kind of room so I have this little tray here because these shelves are great but it's hard to set stuff on unless you have like a surface a harder surface so I just did this. I kind of put all of the ramen in here, the loose ones, the cups. This is a really spicy one. It doesn't get eaten very much. Uh, yeah, and all the bowls there. So I, I'm not mad at that. That works for me. If I had another shelf like that in here, it would probably be better, but I don't like that it's exposed. So my dream for this room, I just pushed all the curtains to that side while I was working, is to have two shelves with wooden doors, one on either side that kind of go to that height of the window and I could even put like appliances on top of it and keep storage inside. It would be like a second pantry out here, but the shelves I want are about four or $500 each. And well, that's just not on my list. <laughs> um, over here, so I used to keep all my Ziploc bags that I was using out on the microwave cart that's in my kitchen. I'll show you guys that in a minute. And I just don't like that. So this is probably gonna take some time for me to get used to because when I'm gonna be making lunches and getting stuff prepped, I'm always, I know where they are, so I'm gonna have to kind of come around the corner here and come get my baggies. But I show you guys this little tray at the beginning. I'm like, why do I even have this here? I used to use it for mukbangs. So what I did is it kept falling through these little wires. So I set down a placemat and I have some paper bags that I had gotten just from our local grocery store. And I used that to kind of make a surface so that I could double this up. So I've got the baggies that we're using underneath. You've got like medium sandwich snack and the big gallon size. And then I have refills right above it. I just don't have cupboard space or anywhere to put it. My basement isn't organized enough yet to have overflow down there. Ideally, once I get it's situated better and if I can even get one of these in my basement that would be perfect and I can have all of my overflow stuff down there but for right now this is what's going to work so all of the overflow plus things that we do use aluminum foil and parchment paper set them right there I've got my garbage bags we use these every day and then I just have some random paper plates from Christmas that I'm trying to use up so I just set them in this basket and when they're done then I'm sure I'll find another use for that basket <laughs> Uh, down here, I, it's kind of a bit of a waste of space, but not really because there's a few things that I might have put here won't fit here. So this is the, all I've got. I've got the dog treats down here. I'm not worried. They've never dug into these and ripped them apart. Uh, I have my Instant Pot here and I just have a... Ew, get Charlie, stop. I've got a cutting board and my Dutch oven, which I don't use very much anymore ever since I have a pressure cooker, I find. Uh, and down here, just kind of, again, more randos. I've got like my Ninja lid when I'm just letting stuff cook or if I'm doing a slow cooker. I've got my pressure cooker lid. <laughs> Seriously, we're best friends. Um, I don't like that these pans are down here. So I was torn. I was like, well, it's either your food is down here being exposed to the dog here or the pans. Well, at least the pans I can rinse out before I use them, so. See, like, it's literally, there's nothing I can do. Like, I just sweat, I swept today, believe it or not. But anyway, uh, yeah, so, but I mean, these are things I use a lot, like the nine by 13, my, my baking dishes, my nine by nine, my muffin tins. I use these all the time. So I want to have constant access to them. And I just set a huge cutting board that I don't use anymore, just again, as a flat base. And I also have a couple of cookie sheets that I kind of stuffed in there, but yeah, it's makeshift. It's, it's, this is as good as it's gonna get from what I have at this moment. You know, because I was literally chatting with my mom on the way home from dropping Belle off at school today and I said, I just feel really motivated today to kind of take care of my space, to work with what I have. And that's the same thing I said about my pantry when I was doing it. You know, make do with what you have. Be grateful and be joyful of what you have and the things you want will come, they will follow because they just come when you're vibrating joy. It's just natural, that's just the way it works. But instead, you know, I spend a lot of time like, man, if only I had those cabinets, if only I had these cupboards, I could get this done and I could achieve that. But 
whatever. Anyway, I'm gonna flip you guys around and show you what I'm putting in my basement though. So I've got the little crock pot, I've got my griddle. I'm not a fan of the griddle. I mean, I've used it, but I just, I don't like the way the heat's not quite even. And honestly, I'm not even sure where the plug is because the plug should have been over there and it's not. So maybe she's not even gonna get used anymore. Uh, I've got this juice jug. We like this in the summertime. I just throw some lemons and some fruit in there with some water. Uh, a big old stock pot and my blender. I also have this case of pad thai that we bought from Costco. God, it's probably been almost a year now since I bought it. It hasn't gotten eaten. It expires in April. I don't know what to do with it. None of us really like it and it's so much left. I can't give it away because there's it's gonna expire soon. So I don't know. I don't know what to do with it. I'm gonna, maybe I'll try it again and see what I think of it. <laughs> But yeah, all of this, I'm gonna go run this down to the basement right now. I'm actually gonna show you guys what my basement looks like because I think this, okay, well, look at this really quick. This is my microwave cart that I really wanna get rid of. But you know what? It's the best that we have. This is like our junk drawer, which has like tape. And yes, we do use these things quite entertain or randomly, you know, measuring tape. Jamie has serious allergies. So there's always allergy medication here, CBD oil, Tums vitamins you know these are capsules that i make him melatonin this stuff just all stays here because the only other place we have is the bathroom and if you look under that sink it's actually stuffed with medicine so we're running out of room in this house like i i appreciate this house again but the storage isn't working 100 percent for us so this is the best i've got right now again it's not aesthetic do you want people to come in and see all your medicine no well guess what people don't come in so there you go <laughs> I keep my uh, foodie down there and my crock pot. See, ideally I wanted those in that living, in that space with on the shelf, but I just don't have the room. And I keep my uh, saran wrap down here, which I was gonna put, but it's kind of heavy to put on that shelf on the shelf that I had. It's just way too heavy. And there's two lunch bags down here that Jamie uses. Lots of cookie cutters and another milk frother that's covered in dust. Do you see that? Why do I have two milk frothers and I'm not using either of them? And a giant thermos in a bowl. So this cart is definitely a waste of space and a waste of storage. But again, I don't have any grandiose ideas of what to do in the meantime. So it's just going to have to work for now. Okay, so we're in my basement right now. Ignore the laundry. I'm going to throw that in right after I'm done filming here. This goes upstairs in my hallway, just my laundry baskets, but I wanna get all of this off of the ground. Usually I put my toilet paper and stuff up there. So I wanna rearrange that stuff that needs to go. I mean, I think that might even be empty. I don't even know what's in those boxes. So the next time you guys see this, you know, the totes will be back on the shelves where they belong and I'll have a clear space again because right now I have nowhere to put this stuff that I'm bringing down. So I'm like, I'm not even gonna keep bringing stuff down until I put this away. So here we go. <laughs> so I'm just kind of opening stuff to see what it is. And I haven't seen this in forever. This has some serious memories in it. Oh my God. You guys ever just go through something and realize this was my a wall in my bedroom when I was in high school. Oh my God, first of all, look at that. We grew up in a trailer. Look at that tape holding that window together. <laughs> and look at that CD player. That was like amazing. That was a big, big deal when I got that. Ah, look at it, it's a, the Tigger, you know, the jumping Tigger. That's what it is, yes. <laughs> oh, that's the other, oh, it's a panoramic photo. Remember those? Yes, that's my bed, because it's a bunk bed. Look at that phone. Look at that phone, 5440, it was signed. Oh my God, this right here. This was me in high school, bam. <laughs> what the heck? Stop, look at me, how cute am I? Why does my sister look so pissed off? <laughs> oh man, oh man, look at us, damn it. Okay, I'm gonna have to reminisce. Oh my gosh, we went to PEI. That was my best friend, Julia. That's her mom. Oh, this is like grad. It's my buddy, Robbie. We were in school since kindergarten together. Oh, and that was my boyfriend hiding behind me right here. <laughs> Look at that short hair. I chopped it all off my grad year. Anyway, okay, you guys don't really care, but oh, okay, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. <laughs> Okay, I'm almost done. Look at that, the bangle. That was our yearbook. We were the, the bangles. 1999, graduated. And some of us, me and like five of my friends, 
our math teacher or somebody, we were just really good students and good kids and she made us this special album. It's full of hair right now. And she made this for us. So Bonner Law Memorial School, that's where we went, BLMS. Look at kindergarten, Vanessa, grad kindergarten, graduation high school. I just can't. That was my boyfriend's mom putting my flower on. It's my boyfriend kissing my English teacher. Couldn't stand her. <laughs> Seriously, you guys, this is, oh my God. If these pictures aren't screaming 90s, I don't really know what is. Stop. Look at those handsome guys. Stop it. I think I had a crush on all of them. <laughs> oh man, this is bringing back memories. Really good ones. Really good ones. And... I'm sorry. I know this is not what the video is. It's a story that I wrote. I used to write plays. Look at this. A teenage romance. I'm giving myself my own critique here. Thomas Malone. He's sort of the ringleader of the group. Like, what was I writing? I want to read this. This was a story I was writing. Stop it. Stop it. Do I have any other stories in here? I don't think so. I think that's it. Just tons of pictures. So I'm going to have fun going through that later for sure. Okay, Vanessa. I got sidetracked. <laughs> is put away behind me so I know which totes are Christmas and stuff we don't have that many Jamie has like a personal items tote I have a personal items and then we have some luggage kind of stuffed in there randomly my cats like to lay in here so I just make them a little bed there but yeah I've got I realized that I have a lot of bags and stuff like gift bags and stuff some of them are Christmas, but some are for gifts and stuff. So I went ahead and there's another bag down there that I found when I was all done. So I like to have those easily accessible. I've got like tape and stuff and some uh, tissue paper if we need a, any of that for a gift. But for the most part, we have a filing cabinet that we keep all of our documents in. Yeah, not too bad. And I was able to fit like my stock pot. I have this weird shelving on this side. It almost looks like they intended this to be a bathroom at one point. Like there's plumbing there for it. Do you know what I mean? I don't know. We don't know what their intention was, but someday we would like, I would love to have like this be a bathroom with like, we could have our washer and dryer in it, shower, all of that. And I'd love that to be like a spare room or completely finished and I don't know, something, but we're not there yet. So I'm also gonna get Jamie to hang this sign up for me. I had it in our old laundry room in our old house, if you remember. So I'm just gonna stick it up there. I thought it would be cute. This is all messy because every time I fill up with laundry detergent, it drips onto my washer. But yeah, everything fits there. I forgot I have some signs here. I just never put them up here. But I don't think I want to. <laughs> but yeah, this is everything. I'm pretty pleased. I'm pretty psyched actually. I brought everything downstairs, so. Now that being said, I've got three boxes of stuff I gotta give away. <laughs> uh, I've gotta see if there's anything in here that uh, Jamie wants to keep, but I'm pretty sure we're just gonna chuck it. It hasn't been used in the year and a half since we've moved in, so I would say we're safe to donate it. And then I have um, some things over here. I found some books. I'm actually pretty excited that I haven't read that I wanna read, some grocery bags, and I don't know what else is in there. This is what was in the hamper, was more storage that I never even opened from Walmart or from Dollar Store. So this will probably help me get my Tupperware organized under there a little bit better. And I might even be able to incorporate some into my pantry, but I don't know that I'm gonna do that today, but I'm glad I found these. I never throw these out. So this will show you how many times I've reorganized and organized and bought stuff and yeah. So we're gonna use that for under the Tupperware. And these are the books that I found downstairs. So you never know what you're gonna find when you kind of clean and do a little bit of a purging. So Sophia Kinsella, I love her. So I've got your number. I'm excited to read that one. Just something frivolous, you know? This was probably a time when I thought I wanted to read and then never did. <laughs> Maybe this isn't that one of those times. Nora Roberts, I just love her, obviously. The notebook, or no, not the notebook. Who wrote the notebook? Anyway, she's similar to that. Love it, love it, love it. This one I think my mom gave me, but it looks like something you'd read, mom. <laughs> <laughs> and The Magic, which is just another uh, book after The Secret came out. So I'll probably read that one too. Yeah, awesome. So just to give you a little bit of context, I'm also going to clean the 
cupboards. Do you see the shit on these cupboards? Between cooking and dogs walking through here, you know, a few dozen times a day, it's pretty bad. But I'm going to scrub those and I'm going to organize these probably a little better, figure it out, make sure everything has a lid because I guarantee it doesn't. <laughs> I skipped this step last time. I didn't organize anything in there. And just to give you guys an idea what it looks like in here, it's kind of a mess. Like, look at this. Just ridiculous space. Nothing. There's stuff that doesn't have lids. Uh, my oldest stepson has taken stuff and not brought it back. So, yeah. We're going to organize this as best we can. All right. So, remember how disgusting they were before? No more dots or marks or drool or dirt. There's some scuffs and stuff. I just, I can't get them off. I just, I can't. Like that's, these need to be repainted pretty badly, but I'm pretty happy. At least the marks are gone. These look 10 times better. Also very filtered through. That's completely empty. Everything was just laying in here. This used to be full of containers. So some of them just haven't come back. And I think that's just the downfall of having a blended household and kids going back to different moms. Uh, yeah, sometimes you lose some of your containers, but that's okay because I don't pack as many lunches as I used to. So I decided to put the lids on them. I thought that would be easier to track them. And then like, Ideally, I don't even want to use this for, for Tupperware. It almost feels like a wasted space. I feel like I could get a better use for a pantry out of this, but this again, it's what's working at this moment. Um, a few more containers here. And yeah, so that's not too bad. I'm pretty pleased with that. Now over here, let's open up. This looks, oh, cut on my foot, much better. I found these trays that I had and I can easily pull it out, see what I have, grab what I need, leaving the lids on it, which I think makes a huge difference because then, yeah, I'm surprised how many containers that I have don't have lids. Like, why are the lids getting lost? If you're losing the container, lose the whole thing. Why is just the lid missing? Um, these are like takeout containers that we get because they have they give plastic for the most part. So we save them for a little while. They start to get a little dingy, but these are really good for popcorn and snacks and stuff. We've gotten um, wonton soup in these from our Chinese restaurant. So yeah, so I did that. I've got my cutting boards. I always like them here because this is where I do all of my cutting and stuff. Cutting, you know, food prep. I don't know why I talk so weird sometimes. And then this side. So I've got my uh, electric knife there, which was on the, in the island. I've got my Rubbermaid Freshworks containers. Those are usually in my fridge, so I have a bunch more. They're just being used in my fridge. I've got my uh, salad spinner and I've got my Brilliance containers. I want to get another set of these. These are ideally my favorite containers for storing food in and stuff, but again, a few have gone missing and I've told them, I'm like, stop using these for taking your lunches. That's not what I use them for. Rawr. Anyway, that's it, but it looks way more neat and tidy and organized now. I'm so pleased, like so pleased. <laughs> that moment you take a look in the camera and you're like, I mean, I wanna keep it real with you guys, but like how real are we keeping it? <laughs> Anyway, I'm super pleased. I can't believe how much I got done. And it's because I didn't stop and exhaust myself with other things. And this is gonna sound ridiculous. It's gonna sound ridiculous. But if I would have, which frankly, I did my dishes for the record. <laughs> uh, if I had started off, went upstairs, got myself dressed and ready for the day, did the dishes, did the laundry, swept the floors. I cleaned out there too. I did that. But if I had did that, and filmed it, I would have been thoroughly exhausted and I wouldn't have been able to attack these projects. And then I thought, well, I'm just gonna do the projects and I'm gonna film them and share it with you guys. But filming the actual doing it, that's exhausting. So I decided, you know what? I'm gonna show you guys, I am getting all of this done and I'm gonna show you the before and after. So hopefully you like that kind of stuff. I don't know. I don't know anymore. But yeah, I'm super excited. I can't believe that I actually checked everything off my list, except I didn't scrub the front entryway. And that's mainly because my back is tweaking right now. I have a very bad lower back, very, uh, especially my lower right side, so I can feel it. And if I were to get on the ground and do that, because I was already on the ground doing my 
Tupperware cupboard and scrubbing that, that I'm not gonna be able to move very well tomorrow. So we're gonna save that for another day when I feel stronger. But I think I'm gonna shut down this video. It is now 11.30. Jamie's on his way home. I'm about to make myself some lunch. And yeah, I'm super happy. I hope that this inspires you guys, pushes you to do some of those projects that you have been totally putting off because frankly, I have been totally putting all of them off. <laughs> but I mean, I got my dining room shelf done, I got my basement organized, and I got this island organized. So I'm feeling pretty accomplished today. All right, you guys, that is gonna be it for today's video. Oh, happy March, by the way, March 1st. Yes, I'm excited, because that means like, you know, seasonal effectiveness, affected, I don't know what it is, disorder. That's gonna start to go away, things are good. You know, March comes in like a lion, out like a lamb in like a lamb out like a lion so we'll see right now it seems to be coming in with snow so maybe that means it's gonna go out gentle and we're gonna have an early spring all right you guys i love you guys so stinking much i need to go clean myself up and i'll see you in my next video Bye.